on the Tijuana side of the U.S.-Mexico border today, mayhem. First, it was dozens of Central American migrants racing toward the U.S. border. Then it seemed there were countless. At times, overrunning Mexican authorities in riot gear, climbing their way forward somehow. And no, that's not the U.S. on the other side, but it's close. In return, pushback from the American side was swift. U.S. military helicopters buzzed overhead as it appeared some migrants attempted to breach the border. And before long, from the U.S. side, tear gas fired toward the migrants, among them what appeared to be mothers with young children as the chaos deepened. This afternoon, authorities closed the border crossing for everyone in both directions. The migrants have been fleeing strife and poverty in countries further south. They seek asylum in the U.S. At least 5,000 are now in Tijuana. It's overwhelmed. The city's mayor calls it a humanitarian crisis. Today, demonstrators had been highlighting the need for a faster response to their plight. We came here to protest, to add pressure, she says, to see if we can cross into America. Indeed, U.S. authorities have been processing asylum requests, but say it'll likely be months before they can get through all of them. Meanwhile, security on the U.S. side has lately been stepped up considerably. For weeks, Donald Trump has been warning, without evidence, that the migrants pose a security threat to the U.S., citing them as further evidence of the need for a fortified border wall. All of it today leading to this. We are not criminals, chanted many of them as they tried to force themselves northward. And Paul Hunter joins us now with more. So, Paul, has the U.S. president weighed in on this? Uncharacteristically, no, um, at least not yet. Tonight, reporters uh, shouted a question to him about the border when he returned from a weekend in Florida, but he didn't respond. There's no doubt, however, that this absolutely plays into his rhetoric on the issue. The images of those migrants trying to force their way into the U.S. will almost certainly be raised by the president at some point. Though one Democratic congressman tweeted tonight, firing tear gas against unarmed families is a new low. For its part, Mexico now says it will deport some 500 migrants caught today trying to jump that border, also sure to be more fodder for Donald Trump in his never-ending push for that wall. Adrian. All right, CBC's Paul Hunter in Washington tonight. Thanks, Paul.